So when I think of the good, oh, he done done for me. So you start saying, I just want to praise him. You got to have something to praise him for. But that's the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad. Let me say this with you. I don't know if many of you are just looking at the television and looking at so many people who have lost everything. I say have lost and you can come up in here on Sunday with a roof over your head.
Welcome the Holy Spirit. And before we get off to our journey, and God have led us up for us, having us here clothed in your right mind. Thanking God for a cool edifice to come in and sit in, because it's your number at this time. That's all right, let What would it do? But anyway, first of all, we want to uh, welcome you all in, uh, who is streaming in, and we pray to God that you will find your way out to the house of the Lord. Uh, it's just something about being in the midst. How I, I many of y'all know what I'm talking about now? We, all of us just about looked out there, and they looked out there, and looked on this stream in, and, and everything else. But it just, it, it's something about just being in the midst yeah. of the saints. You can feel the power and the love shower down on us. And we invite y'all to come on in. We're at 4249 Avenue North. Uh, Fred Baptist Church of Kingston, where our pastor is lead, Pastor T.N. Miller. And we'd just like to give him a hand clap of praise for being here. And a lot of things I have learned over the years, and that is not to wait till the uh, music start to play it like uh, we are, till somebody need to jump start our heart. Our heart needs to be jump started before we walk through those doors. We need to be coming in here praising the Lord and thanking the Lord for all the things that he has done for us, going to do for us, and is doing for us. And God is truly a good God. And how many of y'all have looked over y'all life? And I know the elders, uh, I'm mainly talking to the elders here, some young folks too. And just see how far God brought it. The trouble that you could have been in. Seen is unseen. The Holy Spirit showed you what could have happened to you. Yeah. At the time when I was running around out there, I didn't know what could have happened to me. But when I came in and sit down and settle down and let the Holy Ghost uh, work with me, and I found out he was there all the while, <coughs> bringing me up. But he is a good spirit. <clears throat> our lesson reading, our scriptural reading will be coming from the book of Mark, the book of Mark, the 16th chapter, and that 14 through the 20th verse. 16 chapter of Mark. The 14 through the 20th verse. And when you have found the three standing brothers of God's word, 16. And it reads, Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat, and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth, and if baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with sign, with sign following. Amen. Amen. Let us go to the throne. Man need to always pray and faint not. I don't know your petition this morning. You don't know my petition. But all of us got petition. How you know that, Reverend Monk? Because all of us in here are exhaling and inhaling. And as long as you are exhaling and inhaling, you're going to need God. As long as you're alive, you're going to need God in your life. 
bless your gold. We ask uh, Sister Kay Daniel to come now as she presents the <coughs> show and the will of the workers. Let me say thanks to uh, Sheila and all of the, those of you that see in black. This is a village of workers board. They are assisting this evening, this morning, for these ushers there in the place here. So let's give them a great big round of applause. to you, the Urshas of First Baptist Kingston. Starting with the Sister Emma Smith, President, will you please stand? <laughs> Sister Sandra Avery. Sister Martha Bimbo. Sister Sandra Crawford. Sister Cheryl Harbell, Sister Linda Hodges, Sister Celeste Lester, Sister Valerie Lunkin, Sister Lily Pickett, Sister LaShondra Pratt, Sister Valerie Sawyer, Sister Valerie Trimble, Sister Arlene Wesley, Sister Janice Wilder, Sister Gloria Wilson, Brother Tim Bradley, Brother Wade Brown, Brother Joey Ellis, Brother George Jackson, Brother Leroy Harris, Brother Garnett Holyfield, Brother Harold Johnson, Brother Diedrich Tolbert, Sr. Brother Timothy Williams. That is your adult ministry. <laughs> your youth nurses are Austin Barclay, Dallas Burks, Jaquila Davis, Lauren Ellis, Jacoby Ephraim, Shayla Harris, Jacory Joyner, Kinsley Lee, Marcus Lee, Demario Lumpkin, Deontay Lumpkin, Torres McCall, and Derek Tolbert Jr. In memory of our ushers that have gone on, we have Brother Fletcher Ashley, Brother Willie Lefty Jones Jr., Brother Jesse Parrish, Sister Barbara Caves, Sister Carolyn Griffin, Sister Lily Bell Simpson, Sister Elizabeth Washington. And your willing workers are Sister Sonia Gary, <coughs> Sister Jackie Collins, Sister Margie Collins, Sister Emma Stewart, Sister Felicia Johnson, Sister Dorothy Jackson, Sister Roya Marsh, Sister Jeanette Freeman, Sister Janie Griffin, Sister Cheryl Thomas, and Sister Sheila McFarland. God be the glory. We thank Pastor for allowing us to recognize us Urshas on our Urshas anniversary day. We would like to recognize the Urshas board three uh, individuals, and I will call their names. They can please come forward. Um, Sister Emma Smith. 
Sister Arlene Wesley, and Sister Lily Pickett, if you all can come up. These are the three oldest members of the Usher Board. Let's give them another way to go. Because I know 
Yeah, that truck can't catch up with this fast truck. He messed around and went off the speed. And the turtle just slowly took his time, made it his way to the finish line. And when the squirrel woke up, he got in a hurry, but the turtle was there waiting on him with his hands You thought that I couldn't beat you, but don't you go off the street no more. I want to say the race is not given to the swift, neither to the strong, but he that can endure to the end. Y'all three, God bless you. God bless you. Come on, give me a big hand. Come on, give me a big hand. Come on, give me a big hand.
That's good. Sister January, if I'm not mistaken, is present with us today. Will you stand and let us welcome you here? We're glad to have you in our service. Thank you. Yes, give a great big round. Thank you. 
now God speak to us. Speak for us. May we be better from hearing your word. In the sweet precious, powerful name of Jesus Christ, we do pray. Amen. Amen. God, we thank now for these moments that we have to worship him in spirit and in truth. He didn't have to do it, but he did. And I'm certainly glad about it. And to our pastor, Mr. Miller, um, I've said to you probably, I think publicly, I'm appreciative of our Emma for you to sell me in. And, uh, and pray very hard uh, on where to go and God let me here and, and it still took me about four or five months to get here and, uh, I was just unsure as, as preachers sometimes we preachers just tend to have hard places sometimes to go it's hard for us but then a preacher uh, there's not a really true God called preacher you know? and they're not so accepting of other preachers you know? And so for him to be accepted of me and not to come in and just say, come on in. And so I'm so very appreciative of that. To our priest brothers on the pulpit, I'm very thankful to them. And they, they, they are some good preachers. They, they are very supportive. Uh, I, they didn't, didn't show me any signs of jealousy or, oh, won't you hear? So I, I'm very, very appreciative of that. <laughs> Uh, and, and certainly uh, to you, first out this, uh, who just uh, never said anything uh, but sweet words to me, those who spoke, and just gave a good smile. So maybe they didn't speak, but you smiled at me. So <laughs> it was such a warm smile. So I'm, I'm so thankful and, and grateful for that. I'm thankful for my, my family. You see, some, see some of my family members and friends here. I don't know where you are, but uh, I'm, I'm thank you for, for, for coming. Uh, Make me feel pretty good, uh, Pastor Miller, uh, that I can I can say something now. And if you don't like it, or the church don't like it, I got somebody to help me out. So, uh, to to Ms. Jane Rare and Janika, thank you so very much for coming. And some great great still love you all. And um, uh, when um, uh, when I start pastoring, when I start pastoring Sinistry Baptist Church, uh, I called uh, Pastor Jane Rare. And it was uh, his, his, his pastoral anniversary. And he, he said, man, don't you worry about nothing. You come on down here with me. And uh, come on down with me, and, 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 and I got you. And when I got there, even though it was his anniversary, he made me feel so special, made so welcome, and uh, until he had nothing but love for him. Uh, ever since that, that day, he's a, a great God, and certainly uh, I miss him very, very much. Amen. Uh, to the Word of God, as our custom and, and standing doing our, our, our text reading. Our text reading comes from Daniel chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6. I want to read just a portion of verse 16 and a verse, portion of verse uh, uh, 22. Daniel chapter 6. A very familiar story. Uh, the Reverend Gerald Heppler says that Scriptures are only familiar to those who read it. So certainly, you know, this is a very familiar text from you. Daniel chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6. Um, neither your prayers and certainly your amen for praying and preaching are we? Amen. amen. If you pray for me, pray with me. You say amen. I, I promise to be out of here very shortly. <laughs> But if you get quiet, I'm going to take my time, go a long time. <laughs> Maybe 2 o'clock and I finish. <laughs> Daniel chapter 6. Uh, so the king, verse 16, so the king gave the command, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Verse 22, my God sent his angel. And shut the lion's mouth. I want to talk from this text. Um, when God talks, lions talk. When God talks, lions talk. Amen. Daniel, in, in, in our text, 
Daniel and of God's people, God's men. We read the text, chapter 1 of Daniel, where Nebuchadnezzar went to Jerusalem and took some of the best people. He seized the city, took over the city. And, 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 and he took the best, took the furniture, took the gold. And he, and, he, and he looked around and says, take some of the children. Get, get the best children. Those who can learn fast. Mm. Those who will tell us. Those who look good. Mm. Those, you know, we, 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 we want the want best. Yes, yes. I just, I just want, want, want to come kind of pin that as, as Christians, we too ought to want the best. Yeah. Our, our church ought to want the best. Yeah. We, we ought to want in our churches the best churches. Yeah. We ought to want that. We, we ought to want the best preachers. We ought to want the best churches, the deacons and, and trustees. We, we ought to want the best. Yeah. Yeah. Then Satan, Satan wants the best. Yeah. We too ought to want the best. Yeah. Yeah. Never want Want the best. Amen. That, that, not that she's so proud and not that she's so arrogant. No, no. I just want the, yeah, yeah. the best. Yeah. They want, want the best car. Yeah. They, they, they want, want the best house. Yeah. They, they, they all want to dress your best and do your best. There's nothing wrong with wanting Yes. Come on. Now, Jonathan says, don't you pray me no other before the people. Oh, don't do that. Don't, don't you pray me no slow learners in here. I, I don't want nobody mediocre. I don't want nobody around me from this place that, 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 that sometimes in, sometimes out, you got the, the mind. Never wrong with that. Never wrong with that. Never wrong with that. Never wrong with your ushers. It's usher day. Never wrong with you performing your. Never wrong with you performing your best. Yeah. As a matter of fact, since no one put a gun to your head to make you take that position, you ought to every time you serve, you ought to serve. Let me talk. Let me talk. I'm, I'm, I'm a school teacher at heart. I, I 
quit teaching over the daycare. I'm still teaching your heart. Let me talk to my students and, and say to my students. You, you, I know I got a good English. I got a good English. Yeah, let, me, let me say this. Let me say this. It may not be grammatically correct, but, but, but you ain't got to be like everybody else. Yeah. Let, let, let me tell you, my, my students. You, you ain't got to be like everybody else. Yeah, yeah. You know how you were raised. Yeah. You know what mom and dad and uncle and grandma and cousin and yeah. auntie and uncle, you know what they put in you. Yeah. What's in you, you stick with that. Are you trying to be somewhere what God has called you to be? Yeah. 
tell you, I'm trying to get the text. I'm trying to get the text. I'm getting here. I'm getting here. I'm getting here. I'm getting here. <laughs> when you, this is that. I'm, I'm still in the text. I'm still in the text. When, when you, when you read, damn. Damn, what you trying to impress other folk with his gifts? It, it ain't about, it ain't about impressing folk. It ain't about getting recognition. And I know some, some of these sisters, they just, they somebody just already got recognized for their hard work. If you want to get recognized, you let other folk do that. Let other folk recognize you. You just do what God called you to. Late of James Calvary taught us, Reverend, be you. When you stand and preach, let God use you. Don't try to be like me or anybody else. Just be you. And when you use, God can use you. Just as you are. He said, listen, so, 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 so. So I'm trying to impress folk. All right. Don't, don't get in a position just to be seen. Do, do the job because God is watching. Yeah. And he still sits high. Yeah. He, he may not look you down. <laughs> but to keep you in wrong, hold on. Your hooping is on the way. And mine too. Is, 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 you can't get mad 
when God is using certain folk. When God uses folk, that's who God chose. Because if God will chose you for that position, you don't mess it up. Bad! 
we got to find some stuff on it. Do your best at all costs to live a life where it's hard for people to find stuff on you. I, I, I know, I know, we won't be perfect. But, but the big boss you love ain't nobody perfect. <laughs> from the poor bit, from the, from the poor bit of it, you know, all, ain't nobody perfect. All of us got some issues. But, but try your best to live a life where it's hard for people to find out stuff about you. If I'm not, if, if, I'm, if I read scripture, why did it say something not letting what your left hand know, or your right hand, or left hand. And in other words, what this hand do, this hand should know about. Right, right, right. That there's some stuff that, that, that you do in your life, everybody ain't got to know. Don't, don't put all your business on Twitter, Instagram, and Snap, and Chat, and Facebook, and the other stuff, and the other stuff. Everybody ain't got to know what you're doing. Everybody got to know who you're sleeping with. You, you, you shouldn't be doing it right there, but if you are doing it, everybody ain't got to know. Some, some stuff ought to come as a surprise to folks. They, they try their best to find some stuff on that. They search high and low, but couldn't do it. The only thing they found on Daniel that he liked for him. They, 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 the only thing they found on Daniel that he loved the Lord. The only thing they found on Daniel that he's a faithful servant of God. If they're out to find some stuff on you, they ought to find out that you're faithful. If they're out to find some stuff on you, they ought to find out that you're a good servant of God. If they're out to find some stuff on you, they ought to find out that, that you love the Lord. They said, I'll tell you what, we're going to get him on his guards. And when they got him on his guards, they went to the, the king and they, and they, and they, and they boost the king head up. And that's why I, I, I'm trying to get to the message here. So I'm about to close here. He said, Listen here, you got to be careful of folk boosting your head up. Everybody that say your friend ain't your friend for real.
Yeah. It will end my time. 
make that for you. Yeah. I, I know he'll make a way. And there are a couple of y'all that didn't know he'll make a way for you. Yes, sir. And you, you may be ashamed. You may be ashamed to clap your hand and wave your hand. The Bible says, make the redeem of the Lord. Yes, Say so. Yes, you tell everything else, you don't tell the goodness of the Lord. Yes, and God, did he not preach today? Yes, Say it to you again. Stay in your life. Yeah. Stay in your life. Yeah. And if you stay in your life yeah. and you don't jump up in front of nobody, right. God got a blessing mm. yeah. with your life. Yeah. With you. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Stay in your life. Right. You know, you know, it ain't but one president at one time. You know, I, I don't care for a lot of stuff that's going on, but I learned just like Paul said, whatever well, state right. to find myself in, yes, I learned how to be content yes, to deal with what I got to deal with. Yes, he preached to me that if you stay in your name mm, yeah. and you stay out of those heels and stuff, all that gospel and stuff. It ain't one president on the ocean boat at one time. Yeah. You know, I, I, I know you got favoritisms. Yeah. I've been in the street before I came to the pool pit. I know exactly what time it is, but you got to know when to shut up. Yes. And you got to know when to sit down. Right. You know, it's amazing that people can know how to run a church, but can't run their own house. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, you know the doctor says it's good for you. You know, have you ever seen something? I'm going to close. They use us for guinea pigs. You didn't get that vision. Yeah. I said they use it for guinea pigs. What they do? If that one don't work, they'll try something. I've been on blood pressure for over close to me, but I ain't gonna tell you that's not our business. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 I ain't finna to change. I ain't finna to change. Amen. I've been on it this long. I ain't finna to change. So this thing you do, I ain't gonna tell the doctor nothing when I go. My blood pressure is in good shape. My cholesterol is quite okay. So I thank God. But when you run to the doctor, they don't give you them change. Well, let me try this. And they ain't never said this a word. They say, let me try this. Am I lying? And that's it. Well, let me bring y'all back home. Stop jumping from church to church too. Sit your will in die. <laughs> you jump from church to church, church hopping. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> and when you when you decide to stay where you are, God got blessed with your name written on it. Seems like we have it. That's it. Take me off because they don't. They don't in my house. 